hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to download and install windows 10 from usb using the very popular tool called rufus so let's quickly get started first you will have to come to this website of microsoft windows 10 now once you come up here you will not find the option of windows 10 iso image so in order to bring that option what you can do click on the three dot at the right hand top of the chrome browser then from the suggestion hover up to more tools and then click on developer tools now here again on the right hand top of the developer tool you will find the three dot click on it again hover up to more tools then from the suggestion click on network conditions now once you click on it at the very bottom you will find user agent so you will have to uncheck this option then from the drop down you will have to choose chrome chrome os select it now once selected keep this open and from the left hand menu option reload the page and now you can see here that we got the option of downloading the iso image so click on select edition choose windows 10 multi edition iso then you have to click on confirm again click on the product language drop down and choose your desired language then click on confirm and now you can close the developer toolbox. Now here it asks you 32 bit or 64 bit. So depending whichever you want, you have to click on it. And the downloading will now be started. Okay, so it's around 5.7 gigabytes. So you will have to wait until it's all been downloaded. And once this get downloaded, you will have to download another tool that is Rufus. So you have to come to Google again. Type Rufus. Click on the first link this kind of page will be up now here scroll down a bit and on the very top you will find rufus 4.3.exe click on it again the downloading will be started it's a small software so it won't take much time now click on the downloaded rufus file click on yes so this kind of a small box will now be coming up now here we have to select the usb that we want to create a bootable windows 10 iso so make sure that you have connected your pen drive or usb to your computer like on my end you can see it's automatically detected and you need at least 8 gigabyte of usb or pen drive so from the drop down select the right usb that you want to make bootable then in the boot selection you will have to click on select then you have to locate to that location where you have downloaded the windows 10 iso so i will select it then click on open now once it's all been selected in the volume label you can change the name and just rename it as windows 10 bootable usb then you have to click on start now it says create a local account with username so if you want that it should automatically create any local account then you can just type your desired username i will type genie and check this option rest you can keep other option checked then click on ok and then it give you a warning that if you have any kind of important data in your pen drive then kindly take the data backup first because while running this tool all the data on your device will be wiped out so once you are confirmed you can click on ok and the process will now be started so kindly wait until it's all been done all right so finally our windows 10 bootable usb is ready so we can click on close and now you need to connect this bootable usb of windows 10 to the computer where you want to install windows 10 all right so let me quickly connect it and once you have connected you will have to start the computer in the bios mode so that you can change the boot priority order to this bootable usb so the next time when the computer will boot up it will be coming up with that particular bootable usb Okay, so you can use the BIOS key that can be different depending on the manufacturer like escape, delete key, F12 or F10. So whichever it is, find it out, come to the BIOS, then change the boot priority order. Like I'm selecting to USB device and hit the enter key. And the Windows setup page will now be loading up. Now here you don't have to do anything, simply click on next, then click on install now. And here you have to enter the product key so if you have the product key simply just paste it or type it and if not then click on i don't have a product key 
then choose the edition that you want to install so i will go with windows 10 pro i will select it then i will click on next accept the terms by clicking on the box then click on next again click on custom now here you have to choose the drive choose the partition where you want to install this windows 10 so i will go with drive 0 partition 3 i will select it then i will click on next and click on ok again and the installation will now be started and it won't take much time so kindly wait until it's all been done then i will show you the final desktop of windows 10. all right here it is so finally you can see that our windows 10 has been successfully installed so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye